Halloween executive producers Erwin Yablons and Mustafa Akkad invested heavily in the sequel, boasting a much larger budget than its predecessor, 2.5 million compared to only 325,000 for the original. John Carpenter refused to direct the sequel. He stated that he had made the film once and really didn't want to do it again. John Carpenter and Deborah Hill had no interest in making a sequel, but when the studio offered them a chance to write the script and pay them more money, Carpenter took the job so he could earn back what he believes was his owed pay. Tommy Lee Wallace was originally approached for director from Carpenter. After Wallace declined, Carpenter chose Rick Rosenthal, a relatively unknown director whose previous credits included episodes of the TV series Secrets of Midland Heights. Jamie Lee Curtis would return as Laurie Strode. Jamie Lee Curtis wore a wig so her hair would look exactly the same as it did in the original. Donald Pleasance would also return as Dr. Sam Loomis. Charles Cyphers would return as Sheriff Brackett. Lance Guest was cast as Jimmy Lloyd. Tawny Moyer was cast as Nurse Jill Franco. Anna Alicia was cast as Nurse Janet Marshall, and Gloria Gifford was cast as Nurse Virginia Alves. Both of them were in acting classes with Rick Rosenthal. Pamela Susan Shoup was cast as Nurse Karen Bailey. Director Rick Rosenthal had to go to bat for the casting of Leo Rossi as Bud. Dana Carvey made his movie debut in this movie playing an assistant. He can be seen receiving instructions from a blonde reporter in front of the Wallace house. To get the role of Michael Myers, Dick Warlock revealed that as he passed by a room, the Michael Myers mask was on a table. He put the mask on and walked into Rick Rosenthal's office and stood there. After Rosenthal continuously asked him who he was and he didn't reply, he took off the mask and asked if he could play Michael Myers. The mask Michael wears is the exact same mask worn in the original Halloween from Nick Castle. It looks different in the sequel because the paint had faded due to a few reasons. First, because Nick Castle, the original Michael, kept it in his back pocket during shoots. Also, Deborah Hill kept the mask under the bed for a few years after the filming of Halloween 2, causing it to collect dust and yellow. Dick Warlock is the shortest Michael Myers in the entire series. In fact, he wore lifts in order to appear taller. Halloween 2 was originally written to take place in a high-rise apartment building. Later in script meetings, however, the setting was changed to Haddonfield Hospital. In an interview, Deborah Hill told how there was a consideration for making the film in 3D, but they were far too expensive for this particular project. Originally, Halloween 2 was intended to be the last chapter of the Halloween series to revolve around Michael Myers in the town of Haddonfield. Believing Rick Rosenthal's version of the film to be too tame, John Carpenter shot a few gory scenes that were added into the film despite Rosenthal's objections. This annoyed Rosenthal because he wanted the sequel to emulate the way the original avoided explicit violence and gore in favor of well-crafted suspense and terror. In fact, Carpenter had intended for Halloween 2 to do just that, but the success of the new wave of slasher films in 1979 and 1980 made him afraid that a film which was scary and R-rated but lacked bloodshed and nudity would do poorly at the box office, leading to the extra graphic material. They also had to shoot the ending twice because the first take of Michael on fire didn't look right. The movie was shot on location all around the greater Los Angeles region. A number of area hospitals provided the filming locations for the Haddonfield Hospital. Most of them were filmed at two Californian hospitals, the Pasadena Community Hospital and the Morningside Hospital in Los Angeles, which is now closed. Carpenter composed and performed the score with Alan Howarth, who had previously been involved in Star Trek The Motion Picture. The film featured the song Mr. Sandman performed by the Cordettes. Halloween 2 was released on October 30, 1981. The sequel was a box office success, grossing over $25.5 million in the United States. In terms of the response from film critics, the film had received mixed reviews both during its initial run in theaters and since. Several commentators criticized the film's generally uneven pace, certain plot holes, and muted character performance, while praise was received to the film's genuinely scary moments that capture the spirit of the first film. Halloween 2 was released throughout Europe, but it was banned in West Germany and Iceland due to the graphic violence and nudity. Halloween 2 was nominated for two Saturn Awards in 1982, one for Best Horror Film and one for Best Actor, Donald Pleasance.
On December 7, 1982, Richard Delmer Boyer murdered an elderly couple in Fullerton, California. Boyer's defense was that he suffered from hallucinations brought on by the movie Halloween 2. Boyer was found guilty and sentenced to death. The incident became known as the Halloween 2 murders. Halloween 2 was released on VHS in 1982 and in many DVD editions in 1998. Universal Studios released the film on Blu-ray on September 13, 2011. The release sparked controversy immediately due to the fact that Universal removed the credit Mustafa Akkad presents and replaced it with Universal. Shout Factory re-released the film in a two-disc collector's edition Blu-ray on September 18, 2012. The new Blu-ray release restores the Akkad credit. And a documentary, Halloween, 25 Years of Terror, was released on July 25, 2006. And a box set was released on September 23, 2014. Trick or Treat Studios has released a series of officially licensed Halloween 2 masks, costumes, and props from Universal Studios beginning in October 2012. In 2014, Halloween received its own maze at Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Studios. Then in 2016, Halloween 2 received its own maze for Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Halloween 2. Join me next time as we take a brief look at Halloween 3 Season of the Witch.